interesting little uh, rhyme there about the um, various directions that the wind goes. And the next one, the miller, he grinds his corn. Now, what's kind of interesting about this is I've heard parts and pieces, but I never knew it was quite this long. So that'll be interesting to share with your young children. The miller, he grinds his corn, his corn. The miller, he grinds his corn, his corn. The little boy blue comes winding his horn with a hop, step, and a jump. The carter, he whistles aside his team. The carter, he whistles aside his team. And Dolly comes tripping with nice clouded cream with a hop, step, and a jump. The nightingale sings when we're at rest. The nightingale sings when we're at rest. The little bird climbs the tree for his nest with a hop, step, and a jump. The damsels are churning for curds and whey. The damsels are churning for curds and whey. The lads in the fields are making the hay with a hop, step, and a jump. This one is actually kind of fun if you um, put a little dance to it and have children actually doing the hop and the jump. And they like that. It helps them get their little wiggles out. And then one of the th other ones that I really like, and all the children are heading back to school, summer break is over, and so it's kind of nice when we have the opportunity to use rhymes in school. And this particular rhyme, it's A for the ape. But it doesn't just go A. This one's actually quite long. It goes all the way to Z. Can you imagine? So, here we go. A for the ape that we saw at the fair. B for a blockhead who ne'er shall go there. C for a cauliflower, white as a curd. D for a duck, a very good bird. E for an egg, good in pudding or pies. F for a farmer, rich, honest, and wise. G for a gentleman, void of all care. H for the hound that ran down the hare. I for an Indian, sooty and dark. K for the keeper that looked to the park. L for the lock that soared in the air. M for a mole that ne'er could get there. In for Sir Nobody, ever in fault. O for an otter, that ne'er could he be caught. E for pudding, stuck full of plums. Q was for quartering it. C, here he comes. R for rook, that, that croaked in the trees. S for a sailor, that plowed the deep sea. He for a top that doth prettily spin. V for a virgin of delicate mien. W for wealth in gold, silver, and pence. X for old xenophon, noted for sense. Y for the U, which forever is green. Z for the zebra that belongs to the queen. So there you see, there's lots of uh, room here for learning. Uh, it helps children learn their alphabet. And then again, a connection to a word that helps them kind of jog that memory. And then some of the things that we, we know about that particular uh, item that's being used. And next we have when I was a little boy when I was a little boy, I lived by myself, and all the bread and cheese I got, I put upon the shelf. The rats and the mice, they made such a life, I was forced to go to London town to buy me a wife. The streets were so broad, and the lanes were so narrow, I could not get my wife home in a wheelbarrow. 
the wheelbarrow broke and my wife got a fall. Down came the wheelbarrow, wife and all. That's kind of an interesting uh, rhyme, obviously taking place when people were still purchasing their wives. Here's another one that's not so, it is not so commonly known, and that is, there was a little guinea pig. There was a little guinea pig who, being little, was not big. He always walked upon his feet and never fasted when he ate. When from a place he ran away, he never at that place did stay, and while he ran, as I am told, he ne'er stood still for young or old. He often squeaked and sometimes silent, and when he squeaked, he ne'er was silent. So ne'er instructed by a cat, he knew a mouse was not a rat. One day, as I am certified, he took a whim and fairly died. And as I am told by men of sense, he never has been living since. So although there are many uh, Mother Goose stories and poems and rhymes, we're sharing tonight some that are really not as commonly known as, as others. Here's one entitled, Moss Was a Little Man. Moss was a little man, and a little mare did buy. For kicking and, and for sprawling, none her could come nigh. She could not trot, she could not amble, and could canter here and there. But one night she stayed away, so Moss lost his mare. Moss got up next morning to fetch her fast asleep, and round about the frosty fields, so nimbly he did creep. Dead in a ditch he found her, and glad to find her there. So I'll tell you by and by how Moss caught his mare. Rise, stupid, rise, he thus to her did say. Arise, you beast, you drowsy beast, get up without delay. For I must ride you to the town, so don't lie sleeping there. He put the halter round her neck, so Moss caught his mare. Okay, so we're going to um, take a little break here, and then we will be right back, and we will finish up the books and ballyhoo. Brian Company would like to remind parents to teach their children safety rules to help keep the children in our community safe. Use the buddy system. Never walk alone. Don't go into a car or house without your parents' permission and use a family kids code. Any adult without the kids code do not go with them. This important safety reminder is brought to you by Brian Company, providing superior services in demolition and roll-off services in Tulare, Kings, and Fresno County since 1971. To learn more, visit online at 
bryancompany.net. Welcome back to Storytellers Campfire in Progress. This is the Books and Ballyhoo Show. And we are focusing on Mother Goose. And we're doing a few of them that aren't aren't really as well known as some of the others. We're going to do another one here that's kind of uh, uh, more for the fall time. A little cock sparrow. A little cock sparrow sat on a tree looking as happy as happy could be. Till a boy came by and with his bow and arrow, says he, I will shoot the little cock sparrow. His body will make me a nice little stew, and his giblets will make me a little pie, too. Says the little cock sparrow, I'll be shot if I stay. So he clapped his wings, and he flew away. And the last one we have for this evening is Old Mother Goose herself. And many people, it's interesting, are very surprised to learn that Mother Goose has her own story and rhyme. Old Mother Goose. Old Mother Goose, when she wanted to wander, would rise through the air on a very fine gander. Mother Goose had a house. He was built in a wood where an owl at the door or sentinel stood. This is her son Jack, and plain looking lad, he is not very good, nor yet very bad. She sent him to market, a live goose he bought. Here, mother, he says, it will not go for naught. Jack's goose and her gander grew very fond. They'd both eat together or swim in one pond. Jack found one morning, as I had been told, his goose had laid him an egg of pure gold. Jack rode to his mother to the news for to tell. She called him a good boy and said it was well. Then Jack went a-courting, a lady so gay, as fair as the lily and sweet as the may. But then the old squire came behind his back and began to belabor the sides of poor Jack. Then other old mother goose that instant came in and turned her son Jack into famed harlequin. She then with her wand touched the lady so fine and turned her at once into sweet columbine. The gold egg into the sea was thrown then when Jack jumped in and got the egg back again. Jack's mother came in and caught the goose soon and mounting its back flew up to the moon. And that is Mother Goose. Well, it certainly has been a pleasure sharing these rhymes and stories this evening with all of our listeners. We do hope that you have enjoyed Mother Goose. And please remember, Mother Goose is a great way to teach children to learn various different parts, whether it's with words or letters or the alphabet and numbers and counting, but it's also a terrific way of breaking into poetry. So I want to thank everyone for joining us tonight at Storytellers Campfire, and we will See you back again at the campfire, and on the next program, we will be sharing Carol P. Robin and the Captain No Beard series. This is Lady Sayla Sujuris saying good night. <laughs>